Hello, UCAR. Peter Christensen here, coming to you from the CEO's desk. It's a new year. We're going to go back to the basics a little bit. So we're going to start with a couple videos this year on the basics. The first thing I want to talk about is just, and these are real basic. I'm not kidding. But we're going to talk about contracts basics. So just some, this is based off of observation of things I saw in the past year that uh, were an issue and some, some things just worth a refresher. Okay. Contract basics. All right. First of all, don't backfill contracts, right? Um, the idea is once you're done with it and it's signed, that's the agreed upon terms, right? Especially when you have two parties involved and it's going back and forth. Uh, when there's a blank, it's a blank. And so that doesn't mean, hey, go fill it in when you're ready. Um, there are mechanisms to do that. And usually that's through an addendum. So uh, don't backfill and especially don't backfill for your clients, right? It's not your contract. It's a contract between those two, you know, a buyer and a seller. And so uh, you want to make sure they're the ones agreeing to the information and not, um, you know, agents filling in information unbeknownst to a buyer or seller. That would be a big no-no. Um, so use an addendum and don't ever strike out. If you're messing up, if you, if you, you know, uh, fill it in wrong and you realize, oh, shoot, we already printed this out and filled it out wrong. Uh, don't, uh, don't go strike it out. Um, again, like it's very confusing. When was it, uh, when was the edit made and how do we track that? So don't strike out, um, use an addendum, just use an addendum or start over. Um, in the electronic age we live in, hopefully this isn't continuing to be a big issue. Okay. Second, uh, basic with contracts, pay attention to the dates. You have dates built in, you have an acceptance deadline. All right, we've talked about that in prior videos. Pay attention to it. Pay attention to uh, the seller disclosure deadline, the uh, due diligence deadline, the finance and appraisal deadline, uh, settlement. Pay attention to the deadlines. They mean something in this contract. There is a time is of the essence clause in this contract, which legally intends to make every date substantial in the contract. So pay attention to those when we don't and we sign addenda after what happens is we get uh, ambiguity in contracts and and that's the the one if there's one major thing we want to avoid it's ambiguity in a contract that's the the number one service you can do for your clients is certainty clarity uh don't leave ambiguity okay the last one use uh, the uar forms where available i know there's an occasional odd circumstance where there's not a, a UAR form that um, would would suit your needs, but oh, there are a lot of those forms, and they cover almost every situation you'd find yourself in. And so, use an approved form. What you're doing there is you're relying on a whole committee, um, attorney reviewed forms. You're relying on a collective wisdom that has created these forms and updated the forms and continues to update them to make them relevant, to make them less problematic, less prone to error, ambiguity, as we discussed. Uh, so use those, become familiar with them, take classes on those forms. What an awesome benefit those are for being a realtor. Uh, that's a huge benefit of your realtor membership is your access to all these forms. Um, and it's ongoing. We're, all, we're constantly uh, changing them. We're constantly adding to. So those are my three basics for contracts. Uh, by no means is, this, is that comprehensive, of course, to contracts. I don't, you know, don't think I even need to say that. Uh, but some basics I've observed over the past year that uh, maybe will be helpful. Remember, this is not legal advice. This is legal information only. If you need specific legal advice, please contact your attorney. Thanks for tuning in.